uh, we met uh, in 1986 for the first time. Uh, Newsweek magazine uh, decided to do a cover story on Robin. David Anson, their great movie critic, uh, had watched them co-host the Oscars that year. And he was floored. They thought he was the funniest thing he'd ever seen. So they put together a package, um, a cover story, which would be Robin Williams' comic genius. And Karen Malarkey, who was the director of photography at Newsweek, knew that I had a good sense of humor, or she thought so. And I had done a little stand-up in the late 60s. I mean, a tiny bit. And um, so she thought it would be a good fit. Yeah, any, anybody who is a personal friend of Robin and somebody else knew that you were a personal friend of Robin, the first question that I always asked invariably was, is he on all the time? Is he really that manic? Is he to have that much energy? How can he keep doing that? And the obvious answer, of course, is he can't, and he didn't. In the book, um, 150 of the photographs, or 190 in the book, 150 of them have never been published before. These are personal pictures. They were never for publication and you know people have asked me that um, why you know how did you happen to do this now and the answer is simple he was uh, I always had this thought that when I was 84 and Robin was 80 that would get together and his old men sit down somewhere for a weekend or a week in a nice place and uh, he would reminisce but that didn't happen so uh, when he died I just did nothing I just you know, didn't people were clamoring for pictures because they knew I had a lot of photographs and uh, I just shut it down. Shut it down maybe six, eight months later, I started to think about the photographs I had and, you know, that I can't sit on them. They're, most people have never seen them. And I, that's when I had the idea to do a legacy book for him. 